So I just thought I should probably do an updated tutorial for Auto Plugin. If you guys do not know what Auto Plugin is, it's one of the best PS Vita applications. It lets you install loads of plugins in basically one click. All you have to do is select the plugins you want, press X on them, and it will install them. So this is plugins for the PS Vita and for the Adrenaline emulator, and loads of useful plugins on as well. Plugins that work with PKGJ, uh, plugins that work with like adrenaline apps, um, like live streaming apps, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you get all these plugins very easily on auto plugins. So if you guys would like to get this application, or maybe you have an old version and you want to update it, just go ahead and start up Vita Shell. Just wait for this to load, give it a couple of seconds. We're going to press select. I'm going to connect my PS Vita to my PC, and I will show you guys what to do from there. Okay guys, so I will leave a link to auto plugin in the description of this video. The last time I made an auto plugin tutorial was quite a long time ago, maybe even a year ago, who knows. But um, yeah, so all you guys want to do is scroll down. The latest version for this video right now is 3.93. Um, it probably will be updated soon anyway, because I think a few new PS Vita plugins maybe are going to come out. But um, they actually ad added the um, UDCD UVC plugin, which is basically a plugin for live streaming. I'm pretty sure I've made videos on this before. For. But all you guys want to do is just click the auto plugin VPK and that will begin downloading. So it should just take a couple of seconds to actually download. And once we have got it, all you want to do is go to your downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in there. So all we have to do now is just get the plugin, drag and drop it to the root of our PS Vita. And that's literally it. Um, this also works if you're on PS TV or if you're using the FTP plugin, um, you can copy it across of that. And there you go. We can now go back onto our PS Vita, install it, and I will show you all of the plugins. Oh, quickly, if I just go back, um, if I just go back to the normal page, if I just go back on the releases, you can see there's actually loads and loads of plugins on here. And these are basically all of the plugins that we've got installed. And um, these are the people that made them. So yeah, tons of different plugins. There's also other settings. And of course, you can get plugins for adrenaline and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go back onto our PS Vita and um, let's see. Um, I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay, so I'm just going to go on my UXO. I'm going to scroll all the way down and just find the auto plugin.vpk. We're going to press X on this and then we're just going to press X for yes and we're just going to go and install it. If you had a previous version, what it will actually do is just overwrite it. Um, so my old version was like an old older update so it's just going to overwrite it to the latest version you can update um, it normally or if you're not using internet on your PS Vita you will have to download it again. Okay, so once it has finished, we can close out of each shell and we can go and find auto plugin on our home screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it up. It should now be the latest version, um, whatever version they currently have out. Maybe you're watching this video and there's a newer version. It should be fine. I don't think it will change much. On my last video, um, it was a lot different. It was a lot older. They've actually updated it. So first of all, we've got plugins for Vita. We've got plugins for PSP. This is basically the Adrenaline emulator. We've got Extras. We've got Exit. Exit will close the app. If you go into Extras, um, you can install Hencore version 2.0. You can install Qcore. These are basically just mods for Hencore. Um, right now, I've got Hencore version 2.0 installed. Uh, options for PKGJ, you can actually like configure stuff. So install PSP games as eboot files, switch partitions, add PlayStation Mobile games, all of that kind of stuff. You press circle to go back. Uh, we've got set custom boot splash. This is for your PS Vita, so you have like a custom boot screen. Um, I've actually done this on my PS TV. Um, set custom warning message and translate auto plugin. So you can translate it to whatever language you want. Um, I think you can just like help improve it. Okay, so we've got plugins for adrenaline. So there isn't really much on here. We've got the NPDRM plugin. Uh, we've got the remastered controls. And we've got the PSP plugin. So if you go into these, um, CXMB, and that's custom themes. GTA native resolution patch. Camera patch. Language swapper. Category light. And Kingdom Hearts. Now, depending on where you want to install it, you can press left and right. And it's going to change up here. So if you have your PSP plugins on your UXO, that is where you want to install them so what you do is you just press X to install it but we're just going to go back uh, back again um, I think that's pretty much it for in here and then we've just got plugins for Vita this is normal category as you can see you've got install plugins uninstall plugins configure plugins for SD to Vita 
I've made a whole video about using that and we've got check for plugin updates. So if you go to install plugins, you can see everything that we can install. Now I actually install mine on your on my URO, that is where my tie folder is. So wherever your tie folder and config file is, that is where you want to install your plugins to. It will actually automatically add it, which is very useful. And yeah, we've pretty much got all of the best plugins on here. You can swap it from your UXO to your URO, it's entirely up to you. And yeah, you can press circle to go back, and that is pretty much it. You can also go into uninstall, so you can see what you've got. So maybe you have the same plugins on each thing. Now this can actually sometimes cause problems. So on my UXO, maybe I've got some plugins which I have on here, and I probably want to uninstall some of these, but um, yeah, like this, that's pointless, I can uninstall that one. You just press X to uninstall it if you don't want it. Uh, Vitabrite, I can uninstall that one. And I believe they're in orange because they're currently running. So that is probably why um, they're in orange. I should actually be able to remove some of these. And it shouldn't really make a difference because I don't actually have any kind of like um, TI folder on my UXO. And yeah, it should actually be it. So we can press start to exit. Um, it says your PSV to restart. Press X OK. It's exactly the same thing when installing them. You simply just press X on it and they install. And there you go guys, that is my auto plugin tutorial. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.